What's up, true players? It's your homie C Rod, and I bring you my Yamcha deck profile because of you players out there that are hitting it up in the comment section below. I bring you my Yamcha deck, and honestly, this is a mad powerful leader and an extremely strong deck. So, Yamcha. What does he do? Well, this is the set 10 Yamcha, and he's pretty darn strong on his own. He has an auto that when he attacks, you could look at two cards from the top of your deck and add yourself one red card and then place the other card in the drop area, which is awesome because you're going to be able to get the right card for the right moment. And you're also able to give this guy a 5k boost when he attacks, so he's a 15k attacker all the time. Insanely powerful aggro. And then when your life is at four or less, I mean five or less, that's what makes this guy so strong. When your life is at five or less, you may switch one of your energies to active mode and draw one card and go into boom, Yamcha Supersonic Striker. So same thing, when he attacks you, look at two cards from the top of your deck and add yourself one red card and then place the other one in the drop area. Then he has a pretty game defying auto that if you have a red unison, in play when you deal damage to your opponent through a skill they lose an additional damage with this auto so you need to have a unison on the field and you need to deal some burn damage to ultimately finish your opponent off so now let's talk about what i am running in the deck first off first we got two broly crown of retribution this is an amazing card if you guys don't know what this card does is when you play this card if your opponent has two active energies you're able to see your opponent's hand and then choose one card in their hand that's 20,000 power or less and place it in the drop area amazing for revealing your opponent's hand we are running two of those brolies then we have some earthling mayhem which is going to be baba the earth seer so this baba right here is so darn powerful in this deck what she does is when you play her you're able to give 5k power to an earthling card and that right there is awesome for pressure and then when you combo this card you're able to draw a card and minus 5k power to one of your opponent's battle cards this card is amazing and we are running three of these baba fortune tellers also leave me a comment in the comment section below what other decks you guys want me to go over because i'm making this yamsa deck because of the super players that are commenting in the comment section so make sure to comment and i try my best to reply so we got four of the unison i decided to go with which is shin shinron unison of calamity and the reason i went with this unison is because this card has a permanent that your red cards can attack your opponent's battle cards in active mode and we're going to be dealing damage by attacking your opponent's battle cards so that right there is amazing for removal and he has two activate mains that are so darn powerful this activate main allows you to choose two of your opponent's battle cards and reduce their power minus 15k that right there is mad strong and then this one is even more strong minus two activate main you're able to see your opponent's hand yet again and then choose one of their cards with 25k power or less and place it in the drop area so it's like a beefed up broly crown of retribution we are running four of those unison shin shinrons then since we have shin shinron i decided to go with another earthling card which is innocent princess chi chi so this chi chi right here is a blocker that you're able to bring out onto the field if you have a unison with three markers on it so when you bring out shin shinron the unison you're able to play this card out and have a blocker to defend shin shinron for that turn when you bring it out awesome and it's an earthling card so there's a good amount of combos we could do with earthling cards and talk about earthling cards we are running three of the yamsha barrage so this Yamcha right here is a counterplay card that you're able to activate for free, no energy required if you have a unison in play with two or more markers. So this guy comes out onto the field and minuses two of your opponent's battle cards minus 15k for the turn which is mad strong to be able to deal burn damage with 
one of our boss cards which i will show you in just a bit and it's a 15k body on board we are running three of those yamsha barrage counterplay cards then we have boma the bunny girl one of the strongest cards in this deck and this boma the bunny girl is so powerful because of her auto that when one of your mono red earthling cards gets removed from the battle area due to a skill you're able to bring this guy out from your hand onto the field and then you're able to bring back to life from your drop area one earthling card with an energy cost of four or less and that right there allows you to spam out the earthlings that just died this right here is so powerful and she's a blocker she has unique so you can only have one on the field but you're able to bring out baba you're able to bring out another chi chi for more blocking this deck is really powerful or with that boma you're able to bring out everybody's pal yamsa I'm running this card because I don't have the promotional Yamcha. Definitely add the promotional Yamcha, the new one, into this deck instead of this one. But this one's not that bad either. So when this guy attacks, you're able to pick up the top three and add yourself one Earthling card among them to your hand and shuffle. Awesome 15k body to bring back to life with Bulma. So we have two of these Yamchas, everybody's pal. Then how we are going to be dealing burn damage is with Yamcha at 100% which we are running three of so this Yamcha at 100% is able to deal burn damage to your opponent if you activate his main burst 5 and then this card has a attack that's non-negatable and when he KOs one of your opponent's battle cards he's able to deal two damage to your opponent and then if you have a unison on the field you're going to be dealing an, a, a, like pretty much another damage to your opponent with your leader's second auto so that right there synchronized with Shen Shenron unison that minuses the battle card and you can attack battle cards in active mode is just the boss move then we have Yamcha the desert hyena which we are running three of another boss card that you're actually able to bring back to life from the drop with the boma card so this card is a finisher because if your leader is red this card gains 10k power meaning this guy is a 30k battle card and he has an auto that during battle when this card is attacking when your opponent activates a counter you're able to switch this card back to active mode so this guy is going to deal an attack no matter what and then another auto that when this card KOs an opponent's battle card, you're able to switch this card to active mode and it gains 10k power and triple strike for the turn. So this is a, a pretty much a finisher and since we got Sh Shen Shenron the unison allowing you to attack battle cards in active mode, we're going to be utilizing that a lot. So let me put them over here because I know my face cam is probably blocking it. So after that, we are going to be running two Furthering Destructive Choppas for that double strike game ender if your opponent's at two lives. Or it could even remove unisons by taking away two markers. And then for our super combos, I'm running two Boma Out Adventuring. This combo card is beast like. If the life of you and your opponent is eight, total you're able to combo draw a card and then bring out a earthling card from your hand with an energy cost of one onto the field during your turn when you combo this card awesome to bring out fortune teller baba to pressure and go for game and then she has an activate main if you have her on the field you're able to give 5k boost to one of your red cards awesome and then the other super combo i decided to go with just in case you are staying in high life we got master roshi if you happen to have five cards in the drop you could 10k boost draw a card awesome right here just in case um you are still at high life so those are our super combos two bomas and two master roshis and then for our counters i'm running after image technique we are running three after image techniques this card right here if you guys are unaware it's a counter attack and when you use this card you're able to give one of your cards 40,000 power which is a lot and minus a battle card minus 10k power. This card right here is awesome to survive. Very very necessary in this deck to stay at high life because one of our other finishers you know requires some of our own life to get damaged. So we got two Frieza's death ball which I'm running in the deck. 
because this card, if all your energy is red, and this is a mono red deck for the most part, you're able to get a 15k boost power to your battle card or leader card, and on top of that, he's able to reduce one of your opponent's cards minus 10k. So this is going to be a guarantee hit to happen to your opponent, or survive a triple strike Gohan deck. That card is amazing. And since you want to guarantee deal damage with that Frieza's Death Ball, we have Bardock the Re uh, Resolute. So this Bardock Resolute is mad strong in this deck because it comes out onto the field for free, no energy required, when your opponent loses one life. And then you have a Double Striker 15k body that has an auto that when this card attacks or whenever your opponent activates a counter, you're able to switch this card back to active mode. So this is a 15k double strike pressure that you definitely want to uh, bring out to force your opponent to, you know, defend by comboing. Then we got four Topo Righteous Aid, which is the best negate for the red. Two energies, drop a card, and for the turn, your opponent cannot do any additional attacks unless they discard two cards from their hand. Amazing because you get the 20k body on board as well. So we are running four of those and then for our boss card finisher We are gonna be running Three of the Sun Goku Ape Savagery Awakened So this card is in here because what you're able to do is play it It has the flex and when this card is played you're able to place two cards from your life in the drop area And if you do you're able to deal one damage to your opponent burn damage and then, obviously, if you have a Unison on the field, which is the Shin Shenron, your Awakened Leader will deal an additional damage and you can win game like that. This card has stolen so many games and that's why we are running three. And last but not least, this deck really does suffer from <laughs> like having a decent hand size. So, Great Ape, Saiyan Instinct, draw two from the drop, send it to the warp, and uh, you're able to just draw two whenever you'd like. This card is amazing to save you, just in case you have no plays you could actually do, so you could actually do this from the drop to draw cards and ultimately obliterate your opponent. So we are running four of these, and that is the Yamcha deck profile. Hopefully you guys like it. If you guys have any other suggestions for other decks, Feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section below and if you keep commenting and I keep seeing your message, I'll definitely drop a profile. That's why we got this Yamcha deck and I kid you not, it's pretty darn strong. It's one of the strongest decks. If you don't have these apes, definitely add other Earthling cards in here. Get some of the promo Yamcha cards, the Bulma promotional card. There's a bunch of different cards you could add in here, but for the most part, it's not that bad of a deck awesome and like we always say y'all stay super Oh.